Hi there everyone, my name is Dominic and welcome to The Last of Us Part 2. Now, don't worry, I am not replaying this entire 30-hour game, but they did just release this, which is The Last of Us 2 Remastered, which, separately, I have some very mixed feelings about it existing, because it feels, it just feels unnecessary. I'm not mad about it, but it's also kind of weird to have a game that came out only a few years ago that still looks amazing. Like, it's one of those games. It's like if they did a remaster of Red Dead 2 where you'd kind of go, but why? Like, this game was already, like, the premier league of quality-looking video games and just, like, the lighting, the animation, everything is top tier. But that said, I do appreciate that unlike the Part 1 remake where they were charging full price for it, this, if you already owned... The previous PS4 game was only a $10 upgrade to get Last of Us 2 remastered. So that I figured, I was like, okay, that's fair enough. And it includes things like new behind the scenes, commentary tracks, and what I'm going to be doing today, the new No Return roguelike mode. So if you haven't heard about this, it's very interesting. Basically, you will, you will be put through a gauntlet of various different types of fights in various different randomized locations from different points throughout the game. And you can pick it to what character you want to play. There's a bunch of different stuff that varies match to match that can make the levels more difficult. And then it culminates in a big boss fight at the very end that is out of a pool of various different bosses. So I've already played the game for a while to get a handle on it. Um, I think we'll do moderate difficulty seems fair. And then I feel like I don't want to just play Ellie for this. I've unlocked all the characters to be able to get a sense of what the options were. Um, but like you can see, you can play as any of them and they each have their own specific kind of uh, play style, their own specialization and all that. Like Yaris is interesting because she starts with basically the most basic weapons, but you get Lev for every single fight. Lev is there as your companion helping you. So um, you have Mel, which I I still hate Mel. I, I'm, I, don't, I don't like her. She's the worst character. Her play style is terrible. She's just the worst. Mel, get the fuck out of here. Manny, you're cool. We're we're still we're still good. Um, but yeah, let's go and do Ellie. Let me figure out what outfit I want for her though. I kind of wanted to do. You can unlock this superhero outfit for her, which feels like I don't know. It feels cool for her to be having that kind of look. So all right, let's go and get started. I I'm nervous doing this because <laughs> there's no guarantee how it's gonna go. Obviously, because it is randomized, and I'm pretty. I was always pretty good at the game as it was, and I'm. And I'm pretty good at this mode, I feel like. But again, sometimes you just get screwed up with a bad kind of scenario. So, all right. You start out with just really basic stuff. You get a Molotov. She has her knife and you have a pistol. Nothing to upgrade yet. Nothing. You can't buy anything yet because you get points you can spend in between matches. So, let's see. First off, I want to see what boss are we getting. We're getting the... Ooh, okay. We're getting the Seraphite bosses. Okay. That... We can probably make it. That might be tricky, but let's see if we can get through this, all right? Uh, shipping yard, let's go ahead and start in. So assault is pretty straightforward. You just get waves of enemies. It's pretty straightforward. It can get difficult because as you progress, the types of fights get harder. Like um, this round, each wave of enemies later on will have more and more uh, enemies per round. So, all right. It is fun seeing these maps be used like this. Like, okay. There's not much ammo and stuff in here. You generally want to, at like the start of the round, you want to run around, try to get as much equipment as possible. But sometimes you just don't have enough time. So. Okay. All right, they're over there. So let's go and hop down here. That way we can try to stealth kill a few of them. Oop, oop. It will always be nerve wracking. That sound, the like wah sound. <laughs> And then, oh, that's right. The mod for this uh, mode is you get extra parts when you craft stuff. So that's the thing, too, is every round has a bunch of different mods that will change things. So, like, it says I got extra parts, but I don't, I don't see nothing. So, all right. Let's see. But I will say this is one addition that I feel like this alone kind of makes the $10 price point of getting the upgrade kind of worth it and i think if you just buy it outright the game is like 40 or 50 bucks if you don't own the base version of the game which like that seems fair if you don't own the game already and you want to buy it because the last of us 2 i still contend is one of the best modern games um they also just released if you like this game as much as i do or even if you're just interested in gaming 
not for long, so I'm about to splatter your blood everywhere, buddy boy. Um, all right, yeah, go over there to the container. Yeah, look in there. What's in here? This is so cool. What a cool spot. Yeah, just sh sh shut your ass up. <laughs> but they also included uh, in this game, it's also available on YouTube for free, but they released the documentary about the making of this game, which another thing, you know, if you just are interested in game design and specifically this game, because obviously it it had a really challenging development cycle and shoot, not only because of the game having the leaks that it did, which obviously screwed kind of everything up for the release and obviously led to a lot of a lot of terrible stuff like the death threats that people were getting, all that kind of stupid shit. But also the game was unusual because they had to finish it during COVID. Like they were already had delayed the game just to try to polish it and refine it more. Um, and then of course COVID hit and they had to try to pivot while all these leaks were happening, all of this stuff. And they had to get all of their team on a remote setup to be able to finish a game of this scale, which is insane. So, oh shit, 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 shit. Don't, don't look at me. Ah, <laughs> you said nothing. Wahoo! <laughs> All right, dope. Then in between rounds, you get a, um, oh, that's a better melee. Let me grab that. I think that just hits harder, so. In between rounds, though, you get a little loot box of supplies. So you want to grab that as quick as you can and then get into a position to fight. So. But I will say, like, th yeah, this alone, I feel like, is a surprisingly more well designed mission than I expected it to be, honestly. Like, as far as like a new mode to the game. Um, all right, where are they? Maybe I can lure them over here. Oh, it's one of you are right over there. I'll go see what's up. Yeah, go check that out. What was that crazy noise over there? Go see what's going on. It was like a waste using a Molotov on one single person, though. Is there no one else? Is there no one else nearby who wants to go investigate? All right, I guess this one's just for you. Woohoo! Boom! <laughs> Let's see. And then, gotcha. I know you're out there. Do you though? Ha ha ha! <laughs> I'm like, oh, thank God! All the uh, the time I spent playing this game is actually paying off in this mode. It's also fun too because you could always play. The, um, the encounters by themselves in the original game. But it wasn't as fun because it wasn't like a true arcade style mode. You were just playing little story encounters over and over versus this feels like a fun whole new kind of challenge where you can up the difficulty. There's a bunch of different details like um, how fast you do each match or whatever makes a difference as far as the amount of points you get. What the fuck? Who sees me? What the fuck? Where? Where? It said they were over there. What the fuck? Uh-oh, over there. Uh, 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 oh, I see, I see, I see. Let's see, you you go back. Go look at all that stuff. Oh, shit! That's not... We're under attack. Oh, no, I meant to throw a brick to distract it. That's not what I meant at all. Oh, double headshots. My God. God, I got them fucking gamer instincts. Holy shit. This is good. I'm performing good early on because later on in the match, if I do terribly, at least I can say I was trying. Gotcha now. <laughs> you also get extra points per round for getting headshots. So there's a lot of things that make it fun where it's easy to hop into and play initially. Um, also, at the end of the match, always run around and try to look for more gear that might be scattered around because there's a lot of times equipment and stuff. Um, you can even go... Oh, that's weird. So... This map has two variations that sometimes show up where sometimes you get this map and that gate actually has a crack in it and you can go out through there. So, all right, let's see. I uh, got an eight here. That's pretty good. But yeah, you can see like your accuracy matters, how fast you do the rounds matters. If you don't use an ally, a bunch of different stuff. So it's pretty fucking fun. I have to say like it is definitely, 
I was worried that it was going to feel like a very tacked on addition, and it doesn't. It feels surprisingly thought out and detailed. Um, I will say, though, it kind of sucks because you can feel that this was, I'm assuming, kind of existed um, on the uh, the sidelines of the multiplayer game that they were working on for a very, very long time. Like for like years now, they've been working on a standalone Last of Us um, multiplayer experience, and they just announced a few months back that they are canceling that completely. Which absolutely fucking sucks, like, because I was thinking, I was like, man, this level of just, like, gaming quality as far as, like, the how smooth the game plays, because that's something that's always been kind of at the forefront of this game, is that, like, the animations, the way, um, uh, the way the combat kind of flows as far as, like, switching weapons and all that, like, accuracy, all these different things that are very simple in the mechanics, but they make it feel really exciting because there's not, you're not doing, you know, like the, the on-screen HUD doesn't have 15 different objectives and a bunch of random shit all over it. It's a very much like you have your selection of weapons and that's it. Like you have to just know what you have and how to use it. So, uh, but I'm so annoyed that they canceled that. Though I understand, I kind of understand why they said that their concern was that if they committed to making a multiplayer game that they would have to, like a live service game where they would need to, um, oh yeah, and also you get like the, to mention you get the upgrade trees to be able to unlock different things, which is again, a cool thing because these vary depending on your character and depending on every single run can have a different mix of upgrade trees to be able to go through. So it, it really is pretty fun as far as the variety you can get. I've played this quite a bit so far and every time running through is about the uh it's about a you know kind of a new experience oh i kind of have to do this one because we're gonna fight with joel by our side and then yeah that's a good one anyway i hate doing the office ones that's the ones in the game where like the stalkers are after you and they're still scary uh to be able to play even in this multiplayer mode so let's do this one someone said too i saw someone posting that they were like this is the only time we'll ever see old joel fighting alongside ellie and that broke my fucking heart cause it's true so all right let's go ahead and do that one and see shouldn't be that difficult um but they yeah they were concerned naughty dog was worried that like if they made a live service game like that would they have to keep up on the servers and all that kind of stuff over and over and over for years and years on end and worry about making new content it would eat up a lot of company resources to make their story-based single-player games might suffer or they'd have to split up the workload and i figured i'm like that's i get it it's just a bummer because it feels like i don't know i don't know it feels like just a lot of lost potential where i don't know how they would fix that necessarily but yeah there's there's joel all right where you at where you at Generally, you always want to try to stealth kill your way through the first few rounds of enemies. Especially because you need to conserve your ammo for the later fights because they get more difficult. And if you start running out of ammo on some of the later matches, it gets so much more difficult. Also try to run around and grab stuff while they're not positive where I am. You can also craft a silencer. That way I can maybe take some of that. Ah, there's one way back there. Okay. Got ya. Smooth. Smooth as butter. <laughs> Alright. Fucking stalkers. Alright, yeah. Joel, get in there. Joel. He's a good companion. He's taking care of Ellie. It was interesting, too, if you haven't seen the, um... Joel, you want to take care of that? I'm curious how much we can get him to just kill this thing for us. Dad, take care of that. Yeah, yeah, Joel. Fuck him up. Oh. That's my papa right there. That's all of our papas. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, let's see. Grab the supplies. Give me that. Oh yeah, pro tip if you're playing this game and you're not as familiar with the controls, if you just hold down um, triangle rather than clicking 
individually on the items. If you just hold down triangle, it'll grab everything that's in that group that's nearby. So, easy way to be able to grab more items much more quickly, like this. Like, just... And then she grabs all of them, so... Okay. Got more ammo. That's good. The worst is there's one mode in this game that I will honestly try to avoid because it's such a pain in the ass called Holdout, where you're given a companion and the whole thing is you need to keep them alive for uh, a certain length of time and you have to end through a certain amount of enemies. It's awful. Like, they give you like 30 enemies and your companion does not have that much health, so they die really easily. Grab you. Yep, stealth kill. Yep, 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 yep. And no one else looking at me. Oh, God, we got a shambler. That's the thing, too. Sometimes you get big, hefty enemies in these sections. Not just runners. It's also terrifying because, um... Oh, God. Oh, that's why they only gave us... Is it a shambler or is it a bloater? Hold on. Let's see, let's see. That's a shambler. Okay, we can deal with that. Hiya! Oh shit! Fucking fart it clouds! Nasty motherfucker. Alright. <laughs> Let's grab it at. Gimme, 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 gimme. Delicious, delicious parts. Okay, got all that. Fuck's sake. And you also kind of want to use these early levels to grab as many supplies as you can, because they sometimes get more scarce in the later rounds, so... Okay, grab that. Yeah, and if you have any, like, maxed out amount of items, like, use them up now and make your life easier, so... Alright. Where are they? They're coming from down there. Actually, uh, no, give me the silencer. I might be able to take some of these out. I thought I put the silencer back on! What happened? Oh, nice, Joel. Well done. You just stay down. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Get him, Joel. Get him. <laughs> Joel. Look at us. Look at the two of us. What a good team we make. Right. Really sorry you died, homeboy. Ah. <sighs> one of those things where I'm like, I still get why people were sad and mad about Joel dying, obviously. Like, I think it was necessary for the story to be at its best, but alright, let's go ahead and move on to the next round. Yeah, what do we get? What do we get? Let's see. Got an A tier. That's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Alright, let's see what we can get now. This is the thing, too. You kind of want to plan strategically as you're mapping out what route you want to go on to get to the boss. You kind of want to map out, like, which ones give you the most points, uh, because, like, you get currency. Uh, shortgun holster. The holsters are, I feel like, underappreciated how important they are because, um, stun bombs. Stun bombs are actually good. If you get in a pinch, tossing one of these to be able to stun a group of enemies and then melee them is actually pretty good, so um, we'll grab that. Um, but yeah, when you're, like, you can see on the map here, it tells you how much the points are worth, like, the uh, supplements you get, the parts, and then like the currency that you can spend to get more weapons. And I always try to focus on getting more of the currency, because if you get to the end of the game and you have very few weapons, you just don't have enough options to deal with the enemies that you have. So, I would always recommend like going through and mapping out whatever gives you the most currency, if you think you can manage like how difficult some of the areas are. So, okay, let's see. Let's go and get our shotgun ready to go. Okay, let me show you a cool trick for this map. Go ahead and unlock. Yeah, go ahead and let the clickers out. Because we're fighting the rattlers right now. So because of that, they have clickers chained up in different areas. So what this means is you can hide up here and then let the clicker go, and then you just get a free chance to kill a bunch of them. Oh, fuck's sake. How do I fuck this up? Did you die? Oh, you're already dead? Oh, okay. Oh, 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 oh. 
How are you not dead yet? What the fuck? We're, we're fucking next. I think you should take me to dinner first. Oh shit, am I already low on ammo? Also, fun bug in here is that they won't climb up here for some reason. I don't know why. Never mind. Never mind. They patched it. Never mind. It was a it was a glitch. It was a glitch for a while that they would not kill you in this spot, but apparently that's not the case anymore. Come pop out, please. Ah, oh, you bastard. She went back that way. Oh, come on. All right, we got one left. I also forgot to introduce this mode. This mode is different. It's called capture. And the trick here is that they have a safe with a bunch of gear in it, and you need to go get the safe before it locks. That's what the timer is in the upper right there. It's not that hard to do as long as you kind of keep your wits about you, but... But the safe has... Oh, did that not kill you? What the fuck? Let's see. Oh, I wonder if they have increased enemy health. That is a thing in the game sometimes, where sometimes that's like a variable, is they'll give the enemies extra health. Nice. Grab all that shit, because that actually gives you extra currency to buy more weapons and shit um, as you go ahead. So, Because technically, you don't have to get the safe to win the match. Uh, if you just kill all the enemies, that's considered like a success. You'll still be allowed to progress, but you miss out on a bunch of really good parts and equipment. So, all right, nice, nice, nice. That was nice. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, even though, yeah, you used to be able to hide up in that little loft area and the AI got confused and apparently they fixed that. It does seem like they've already been updating the game pretty consistently. Like I've noticed a few maps from when it released, whatever it was like, uh, a few days ago, I think, like, yeah, it wasn't that long ago that it released, um, maybe cut like a week or two, um, but they've already updated, so some of the maps now are larger, some of them have different geography, they've been updating, nothing major, um, but already that kind of gives me some hope that they maybe will keep, like, freshening up this game as time goes on. Uh, some more bullets, please. You can also re-roll to get new weapons from this little trading post, so yeah, getting some more arrows is good. Uh, do I have a melee? I do, and it's already pretty good, so. Okay, so now we gotta choose what path we wanna go to. So, let's see, this, neither path gives us very much in the way of currency, as far as, like, the coins to buy more gear. Um, the restaurant, ooh, the restaurant is really close quarters, and I don't like it. Uh, this one has tripwire traps, which are awful. Because they put tripwires everywhere, and a lot of times they're a one-hit kill, so. But we get Dina to help us, so let's see. Hold on. Did we unlock this yet? Okay, we did. So, Endure is good, because that way if we hit a tripwire, even if it would have killed us in normal terms, um, that's one of Ellie's specific perks in, uh, in this mode, is that she'll survive that, so. Let's do that one, and then the hardware store, and then I think, I think we can manage with that. Especially if we have Dina kind of running around keeping an eye on things. And that's the thing, too, is sometimes the enemies will run into the tw the tripwire traps as well. So you just got to be careful. Just move slowly. I have died and ended many a run by fucking up and not paying attention to where the tripwires were. So... Because they put them all over the place and they're hard to spot. So for the tripwires, like, you kind of want to just pick a spot to fight and stay put. So, so you don't get got... In a really stupid way. As you can see, I'm just gonna like, like there's a tripwire up there. I can see that one. We know you're out there. Come on. Bye -bye. Okay, so they're up there, so I might back off a little bit into the trees here. Because there doesn't seem to be much in the way of tripwires over here. I'm really worried some of them will be in the bushes though. Because <laughs> that would fucking suck to get killed like that. Alright. No, you're not. His head just exploded. All right. Can we go up here? Is this an option? Oh, it is. Again, I don't think this was in the original map for this section. So I've noticed they've expanded some of the areas so that way there's not as many like dead end corners, which I appreciate. So. Ah. 
<laughs> Man, shut up. Stop snitching, motherfucker. <laughs> Alright, Dina, could you help a little? Like, I know we're going all sneaky. Oh, he was a big dude. That's why he took him a couple hits to die. Because he has, like, the big hammer. Alright. Can I make... Oh, I should use the bow, I'm realizing. Because it does a good amount of damage. Oh, shit. Come here, come here. Where are you? Ah, fuck me. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yeah, Dina, help out a little bit more. Gotcha. Oh, shit, shit, shit. All right, you're melee, so I can get you before you get close. That was better. Okay, let's go and go get the gear. Oh, let me be careful, though. Hold on. Because... All right, let's go up here, and let's keep a very close eye out for tripwires. All right, where's the box? It's right there. Okay, we can grab it and then kind of go back to where we were. I'm going to heal up, though, before the next wave comes in. Where are you coming from? Ah, oh, they're right there. God damn it. Oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. Why There we go. <laughs> On cryob. Stab you. <laughs> All right, Dina, you're not doing much, but you know what? I'm just glad to have you here, sweetie. She's running. What? What? Where are you? Bonk. Okay. How many we got left? Couple down there. What? By the truck. Come on, come out. Oh, that's right. But you good. And excuse me, time to meet your maker. Oh, I saw you peeking. Oh shit, I almost jumped right into the uh <laughs> right into the tripwire there. You can break them also. Like if you have bottles and shit, feel free to use those to survive this part. Also, I think I mentioned what that is. Again, there's a lot in this game to actually kind of explain, so I don't want to miss things. So um ooh, let me up. Let me up, let me up. Let me up. What are you doing? Um, oh, they're coming down here. Hold on. Now drop that there. And then... Oh, arrow. Gimme, gimme, gimme. I want to save those. But the dead drops are interesting because you... Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Well, that worked. Um, <laughs> because basically you, uh, you drop in equipment and supplies. And then when you get back to, like, the headquarters base or whatever... Um, let me lure them out here. Hold on. Then you get extra supplies. Like, you get a whole extra weapon. Stuff that's really expensive to purchase during a run, you can sometimes get included. Ah, shit. Oh, fuck. Excuse me. One moment. Come here. Come here. Stop it. <laughs> You're a nuisance. You know that? God. Just the worst. Dina, I don't think you've killed a single one of them. I mean, you, you ain't no Joel. To be fair, you're also pregnant, so I'll cut you a little slack. Oh, shit. You run around over there? Bitch! 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 Ow. Oh, my God. I've also made the mistake with science I've been running around after a match is over and blown myself up because of the tripwires. So, you know, stuff to be aware of. Okay, I think we got everything. All right, all right, we're good. Okay, let's see. What did we get? Ooh, nice. See, this is why you always want to do the, like, the dead drop option, because now we got the revolver, which does quite a bit more damage than the, like, the regular little semi-auto pistol, so. Okay, let's go and grab all our stuff. We didn't get, like, they're not giving us very much currency. Why do we have so many upgrade branches, though? Like, I'm not going to have enough supplements to use these, but. Brew silencers, listen mode. Listen mode clarity, Okay. So what do we have? We already have listen mode movement speed on that one. Improve silencers, maybe, because being able to take out people without getting spotted is really important, especially for this boss battle coming up. If we can take out a bunch of, like, the little minion enemies, that would be a lot more helpful. So let's grab that. And then smoke bombs, craft more arrows. I don't think we have the, the recipe to be able to make arrows yet, so it's kind of unnecessary. So, all right, let's see. What do we got? 
A uh, bolt action rifle. Um. Oh no, explosive arrows. The rifle's not bad by any means, but it's not as good as just being able to blow everything up when people get close. So, okay, that's what I'm going to focus on, is if we can get the upgrade materials we need for that, that'll make the boss battle also way easier, because you can lure all the enemies into a little group and then go from there. So, okay, uh, let me get the draw speed. The draw speed on this thing is so slow to be able to fire um, another arrow and aim, so... If we can do that, we'll survive, so... All right, this, uh, this thing fires kind of slow. It also does, mm, I might want to save some points and get extra damage for the ending too. So I'll do that. All right. And how's our health looking? Let's see. Uh, health's okay, got plenty of ammo. So we're actually in good shape for this. So I think we might, we might make it. Probably shouldn't speak too soon, but we'll see. Okay, what's next? Where are they taking us? We're going to the hardware store. All right. Come on, everyone. We're going to Home Depot. I didn't even check. What are we fighting? I always forget to look because it tells you what faction you're up against. I think it was infected, but... Clear each wave. Okay. All right. We got a few seconds. I told you. You always just got to sprint around. Oh, God. Oh, it must be I know what we're fighting because I hear it. Once you're fighting the wolves. Yeah. God damn it. They're kind of the worst. Uh, I can make that and drop it in really quick. Oh, yeah, you can also see you get extra time to prepare if you're making supplies before the match, which feels decently fair. All right. Trap mines. Oh, yeah, spoiler. When you get to the boss fights, don't... Do not use the trap mines. You will blow yourself up. I've done that many times, and it's very annoying. All right, this is good, actually, this spot, because... If they try to get close to me, they'll have to get in range of the clicker, or they'll have to come around this way, and either way kind of puts them in danger, so... Alright, let's lure them out here. Explosive arrows, and a silencer. He's gonna blow up in a second. Come on, get closer. Get closer to the explodey thing. Come on. And no one pay attention to this clicker that's going nuts right now. And they'll have helmets on, though, which is really annoying, because that does protect them from a lot of the damage. Alright. That's okay. And then you come closer. Where's my explodey thing? No one's hitting that yet. Oh shit, he was waiting. Motherfucker. Oh, come on, look away for a second, please. Could you stop just staring at me like... Oh shit, they kicked me? Fucking hit him! What the fuck? Fuck! God damn it! Fuck! Fuck me! Ah, god damn it! No, we were doing so good! Fuck me! Alright, well, it's on me. I got myself backed into a corner. I did not... I don't know what was going on with her not using her melee attack at all. That kind of got janky there. Maybe that was my fault. I don't know. Oh, God, I also forget, too, the Rattlers also, um, they do more damage than almost any of the other factions, for whatever reason. Like, their mix of weapons, their melee items, they just are worse, so... Oh, no, we were doing so good, though, and I don't want to end on a loss, so... All right, hold on. Let's figure this out. All right, maybe... Okay. Oh, God damn it. Let's try Let's try to run as Joel. He starts out with a better pistol to begin with. The big trade-off is that he can't dodge, which is a pain in the ass for dealing with melee enemies, but he does get shivs, which is kind of nice, so maybe let's, let's give this a try and see if I can get all the way through the boss without fucking dying, because that was really embarrassing. I'll do my damnedest. That's right, Joel, we're gonna do our damnedest. All right, let's see how we can do with a Joel run. Um, that'll be fun, actually. If we survive this, it would be fun, because it would be like, we're playing Last of Us, but this time Joel gets to actually live through the whole experience, <laughs> so. Um, he's fun to play, though, because he gets his pistol is like a special revolver, that somehow magically has 12 shots in it at all times. Like, 
uh, or at least it has a maximum capacity of 12 shots, I should say. Oh, the photo filters. God damn it. This is another variable, too, is sometimes you'll do a match where it has one of their photo filters, which I'm sorry, they look like shit. Like, this black and white filter is awful. I hate it. Okay. Let's see. Melee kill an, ele an enemy. Um, okay. Let's go and get the shivs out. All right, let's see if we can get through this. He is more resistant to melee damage, which is very funny when you consider the way he dies. But um, that's like an advantage in this rendition is that he does better. Like he doesn't get knocked around by melee hits nearly as badly as other characters. So, all right, where are they? I hear him gasping. If I could sneak up one of the stalkers, that would be cool. It's not easy to do, but. Oh, nice. I never managed to sneak up on these guys. That was awesome, actually. And that counts towards the melee kill. And we can sneak over here and drop this thing in the little dead drop box uh the shivs fine here you go i'm mailing these to ellie here for your birthday all right where the hell oh you're right there i see you <laughs> come on you're the only one left so nice you got any supplies no god damn it what was the point of killing you then okay uh, I can't see shit. <laughs> God, like their photo filters are just like, they're too aggressive to be able to see a damn thing. So, oh my fucking God. They also have, we haven't seen it yet in this run, but excuse me. Um, they also have a mirrored mode where the whole level is flipped in reverse and it's so difficult. All right, let me see. Come on, come on. Change the exposure so I can see outside better. Where are y'all? Hold on, where are they? Ah, there you are. I'm kind of tempted. If I can get headshots on all these. Oh, Shiv. Ooh, okay. Oh, God. That was not great. Um, oh, sweet Jesus. Okay, where's the supply box? Oh, my God, I can't see, game. God damn. Lighten up on these photo filters a little bit. I know they're supposed to be challenging, but also they included them in the original uh, game as, like, a fun thing you could do, and I'm like, who is using these? Who would ever want to have the game look like this, especially when the game looks so good as it is? Okay, there's one over there. Okay. Because you also get extra points if you get through the, the levels in a certain amount of time. I think it's if you do them in like three minutes, I think, is like the goal. Okay. Oh, you're all coming this way. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, that's good actually though, because I can pick off one of these towards the back. <laughs> this is their homies. Look at them all hanging out together. How nice. God damn it. Ooh, okay. Not too terrible. Not the best I've ever done, but it's fine. So, all right. Can I run around? Is there any supplies I can get to? Also, I hate once the combat's over, they go back to their little slow casual walk. And I'm like, no, let me sprint fast. I gotta run around and be able to pick up all the bottles and bits and bobs I can see. All right, I forget, what is his upgrade tree? Um, oh yeah, he gets faster stealth kills. Because the whole thing is he's using his shiv for just about everything. So, all right, what path do we want to go on? This one, ooh, this one's a mystery encounter. But it does give us a lot more, let's see, we get 32 currency if we do these two in a row. And we only get 22 if we do this one. So, let's do the mystery encounter. That's... This is risky. The mystery encounters can literally be any mix of anything, and that's 
it, it can really screw up a whole kind of run through, but also it kind of keeps it exciting. So, all right, we're doing hunted. Oh, oh God. Okay, never mind. This might have been a mistake. Grab supplies, grab supplies. I'm going to need them. Oh, shit. Hunted is a pain because the whole thing is that you're just trying to survive a certain length of time, not a certain amount of enemies. And they oftentimes will start out knowing your position. All right, my gun reloaded. Right, I don't think he knows where I am right away. Do you not see me? How do you not see me? Oh, you did. Oh, shit. Oh, this is going terrible already. Oh, my God. Oh, no, 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 no. Bonker! Okay, at least I got his weapon. That's good. Oh, my God. Can I craft health kit really fast? All right. Let's see. While they're kind of coordinating on how to kill me, let me go and heal up. Oh, I told you. I, oh, God, this was a mistake. I should not have done the mystery encounter. It's not bueno. It's not fun. And since you can't dodge, it makes it really difficult. All right. I think I can trip them up. Right over here. All right. That's the thing, too. Like, take your time with your shots. You often have more time than you realize. Uh, I could go get that supply box. They don't seem to know where I am quite yet. No, they don't. Oh, they don't. Okay. Get eyes everywhere. Be ready. Ah! Oh! <laughs> gimme, give gimme, give gimme! Give Yum, gimme, give gimme the supplies! Gimme, gimme, gimme! <laughs> and now we just hide here. Oh god, oh god. One more second. Okay, okay. Woo! Alright. That was not terrible as far as that mode goes. Let's see. Oh, hi, Ellie. I just noticed Ellie's on my coffee table in front of me just staring at me like, Dad, what the hell are you yelling about? <laughs> Ellie, come here. come here. Or stay there and stare at me. That's fine, too. <laughs> oh, man. I keep instinctively trying to dodge with him is the problem. Like, because I'm used to doing it with all of the other characters. I'm used to playing like Ellie where like she's very like lithe. You can dodge around really easy and then you can dodge a hit and then get some hits in and you can do that with Joel. You just got to brute force your way through everything. So, all right, what can we buy now though? Uh, oh, the shotgun. Yes, please. Extra health kit because never want to run out of those. But yeah, the shotgun, as long as we have that, we'll kind of be okay. Now we can upgrade our weapon. Okay. That's, that's much better. And we got a lot of uh, supplements for that. So, improved melee weapon upgrades. That's good. Faster stealth kills. Craft more shivs. Uh, we don't have enough for that. That's okay. All right, there we go. And we have a lot of bullets, thankfully. So, all right. Hopefully that was the worst of it for us to deal with. Um, the shipping yard with the Rattlers, this is not so bad. The shipping yard, I'm like, I feel like I'm more familiar with how to survive it. So, let's see. Oh, weird. I told you. There's a variation of this map, and this is it, where, look, it's mostly the same, but there's all these vertical spots for you to run around in, and you can go through here, and this is a different area. It's very weird. I don't know why, because the first time I got it, it confused the hell out of me, because I was like, why does this look mostly identical, but it's not? So, okay. All right, get the supplies. Before they even know I'm back here. Thankfully, this area is decently easy to defend because they have to all come through that little hole in the fence. And that really tends to screw them up. So. Right here. I'm going to throw this. Is that done? I'll check it out. All right. Give me, come here. Come here. Do I have the faster stealth kills yet? I might. Oh shit, they're gonna see me. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! I'll go check it out. Oh, okay. And they're gonna wanna get behind some cover. Oh shit, where did you come from? Where the fuck? Move up! Gotcha! Shit. 
shit. Fucking fire! Oh my fucking god. Oh shit, where the fuck? You came from nowhere. Oh, fuck me. I'm gonna fucking die. I'm gonna fucking die. Okay, hold on. Oh god, that's the end of the wave. Thank god. Oh my god. I don't know what it is about the Rattlers for whatever reason that like... I, I, I mean, maybe I do know what it is, because I guess it's like... They're, they give them a mix of... Where the fuck is the supply box? There it is. Oh, God. Okay, let me get a better spot here. Heal up even more so I don't risk it. Uh, but it's because, like, not only do they have the clickers running around, which makes mobility kind of difficult, but also it's tricky because they have... They usually have body armor, they have helmets, and they have, like heavier weapons. They have shotguns and shit. Versus, like, the Seraphites usually have the arrows or melee weapons, stuff that kind of gives you time to be able to react and figure out what you want to do to survive, so... Alright. I Maybe I'll wait till they get close, and then I'll hit them with some explosives. Let's see. They don't see me yet. Do -do 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 -do. Let's see. I think I'm gonna let them kind of come to me. Yeah, here they come. Here they come. What's the story? Don't see anyone. Hear that? Might be them. We're under attack. Oh, they moved at the last second. I like that the I didn't notice the foliage, like the grass moves when you do an explosion, like they can. Like, it does, like, a shockwave through it. God, this game's so well designed. Motherfucker! There you go. Heads up! Go around! Oh, shit! Shit! You bitch! An asshole for that one. All right, you're right there. Gotcha. Alright, where? There's one more? Where are you at? Oh shit, there you are. You see, like, even though... Shit, god damn it, you're too far away. Fuck me. Oh god, this is going terribly. I'm so sorry. You all saw, I was playing really well as Ellie, but Joel is like... He's just, he's, it's not hard to play necessarily if you're used to it, but I'm not, and that's really showing. So, maybe I should find a different spot, though. Maybe if I'm up above them, I feel like that might be a better, like, this is a better vantage point to be able to maneuver, because I can go prone. I might be able to catch them off guard a little bit easier than that. Yeah, make some more pipe bombs. Maybe I can get them all in kind of a clump and hit them with the pipe bomb. All right, let me sneak over. I forget, too, that one of the advantages of using the uh, the pipe bombs, the molotovs, anything like that, is that they don't immediately know where you are, because it's like a distance weapon, so. Bonk! <laughs> oh... It's something I've just played this game. Oh shit, shit, shit. Throw it. God damn it. Push forward. Come on, let's chase it. Watch it. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, they take so many hits, and I don't know why. God damn it. Because you'll see with other regular enemies, they'll get taken out with Joel's pistol easily and quickly. There we go. Yeah, two headshots required? Bullshit. There's a whole pile of them here. I do like that one dude just getting literally ripped in half. It's so funny, because, like, I know people talked a lot about, like, the gore in this game, but, like, being kind of like, is it, does it go too far? And I'm like, I don't know. It really doesn't bother me, because I think it's, like, it's, it's one of these things where it's, like, it's, it's fake. It's, it's, it's like seeing violence in a Tarantino film. You can decide whether or not it's, it's too over the top for the story, but to say, like, is it is it inappropriate to even exist? I'm like, I don't know. 
We've been watching like, I don't know, my parents have been watching war films when I was like 10 years old. They were probably far too violent and mature for me to be watching, you know. So playing a game like this, I'm like, it bothers me less than seeing like a war film that's about an actual conflict being done with tons of gore and violence. So, okay, let's see. Okay, the crossbow. The crossbow is okay, but I feel like the... Oh, incendiary ammo. Oh, no, I'm taking that. The crossbow is good because it, it does hit pretty hard, but the shotgun is just... Shotgun's the old reliable. All right, what else you got for me? Oh, man, I guess I got more pipe bombs. I wish I get the hunting pistol, but they're not giving me the best selection of options right at the start, so... Uh, increased, oh, increased health is a big one. If you can get extra health this early, it's going to make a huge difference long term. So, okay. I'm just going to be a little bit more careful this time, so. Oh, I forgot for this one, we don't get like the 15 seconds to get prepped like the other one. All right, where are they? Where are they? Oh, shit, don't see me already. Fuck, that would have been awful. Oh, my God. All right, let me try to... Oh, I don't have a bottle or anything. God damn it. Yeah, hit you with that. Oh, shit, I, I threw the... Hit him! Oh, that kind of worked. Oh, shit. All right, I gotta calm down. I am panic fighting and that's how you lose. I gotta remember too, it doesn't matter how many bullets I use. Like if it, if I have to use a bunch of bullets, but I can win, that's fine. Okay, where are you at? Oh, yeah, I can get all this stuff while he's distracted. <laughs> Give me that. Give me. I think, too, using a lot of bullets on this one is kind of okay. Oh, 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 oh it's a long shot. Damn, dude. You only got half a body left. All right, let me go and get the safe. Uh, where is it? It's over here. No, no, give me the safe. Give me the safe. Yeah. That'd be awful to have to be stuck going back to the... um going back to the headquarters or the hideout or whatever without getting all the stuff so give me that brick that's good though the capture uh mode is like one of my favorites as far as like it's one of the best to be able to resupply midway through one of your runs because you get so much ammunition and equipment in one single fight and it's not that bad because all the enemies are kind of huddled around the safe trying to protect it so which it's annoying like this all feels like modes that we were gonna get in multiplayer i'm hoping you know what i hope they do come to think of it is since they canceled the big multiplayer game anyway, I'm like, maybe they could add multiplayer to this. Like, even if it's just, like, not a big, large server, it's like, just be able to co-op with your friends, have, like, a co-op mode to be able to play on the couch or with someone else who has the game. That would be a good way to be able to, I think, kind of mitigate some of the, uh, the, the, the fan fallout um, of the multiplayer game being canceled, you know, because I know people were just looking forward to that. Because, um, again, the game's just so fun. The level design is so interesting compared to a lot of other types of, like, like these kind of combat games. Like, they don't really... No other combat game feels quite like The Last of Us, which makes it unique, so... Oh, shit, okay. I'm going to focus, because I only have to survive this one, and then we get to the boss fight. Which I'm realizing, in hindsight, now that I've picked Joel... Um, the boss fight is going to be really difficult, because it's the Seraphite enemies. It's two, it's two Seraphite bosses... And a bunch of little minion enemies. And it's really not easy. So, all right. There's one there. All right, let me figure out where... Try mine there. Okay. Just to make sure I don't accidentally run into any of them when I'm not paying attention. So... All right. All right. What can I craft? Hold on. I'll grab more shivs. Let's do that. Yeah, you know what? Let me go ahead and just let him come up here. I've got pipe bombs and shit, so I feel like that... It's not that bad, actually. Oh, oh, I gotta remember the strip mine right there. 
I almost screwed it up right out the gate. Oh, good. They're bumping into him, though, apparently. The cars. Oh, shit. All right, where are y'all coming from? Make sure no one sneaks up behind me, because they do that a lot. Oh, 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 oh. Sweet. I can also wait till this thing, this uh, dude gets close and then just do a melee kill. Whoop! Because <laughs> I did upgrade my melee, so. Are you the only one left? Oh, that's fine. Here, come over here. There's a little surprise. Oh, fine. Don't come over here then. Wah ha! All right, oh yeah, yeah, don't don't sprint, don't sprint. Common mistake. Uh, no trip wires, no trip wires. Maybe I'll stay over in that spot. That seemed to be a good like, kind of easy to defend spot. Should probably also heal while I have a kit for it. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Oh, 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 they're all right above me. Okay. Yeah, go check that out. There's something crazy over there. Here, hit both of them. Nice. Oh shit, that got him? Oh shit, oh shit. God, they just react so damn quick sometimes. Where, where? Oh, there you are. There you are. As long as I know where they're coming from, I'm kind of okay. I say as I nearly die multiple times in a row. Friend. I'm not your friend. You don't even go here. That's what I fucking thought, bitch. All right, let me go down and try to get the dead drop down there because we'll, we might need it for the final battle. All right. Looking for, um, oh god, we don't have the supplies for it. Okay. Nope, 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 nope. Where's the supply box? Over there, over there, okay. Let's head over there. There's actually a bunch of shit over here, okay. Maybe it's good that I moved out of here because they were all kind of starting to gang up on me in there. And it was getting a, it was getting a little hairy, so, all right. All right, we got a trap right there. That's fine. Maybe I can lure some of them out here and they'll run into some of the traps. Yeah, because they're already heading this way, so. All right. Because to get the dead drop, I need to craft one of these. Oh, don't look at me. Don't look. Don't look. Y'all don't see me. Okay. Yeah, might as well make that while I have the supplies for it. Yeah, let me get them off my back for a second here, so hopefully they'll be distracted. Alright, no traps here. That would be the worst to end this whole run, because I run into a trap, honestly, so I'm really trying to avoid that. You see anything? Oh, shit. Y'all are close. Okay. You're right there. Gotcha. I got the faster stealth kill, so I actually... You know what? Maybe this should have been my strategy all along. It's like luring him back into the... Um, yeah, lure him back into the forest here, and then stealth kill them. I should have tried that a long time ago. <laughs> and then, hold on. Heal up while I'm here. Not gonna risk it. This is one of those two where I don't care if I get a bonus for doing these levels faster. It doesn't matter if you don't survive, so. Aha! <laughs> Them just watching him burst out of the bushes over and over. <laughs> nice, nice. And now back into the woods. Yeah, don't notice all these, these bushes moving all over. Come on, come over here. Come check out the buddies. Oh, two of you. I can shiv kill you. 
Hell yeah. That went kind of okay. Oh, there was shotgun ammo though. I need it. I need it. Oh, you fucker. Also, I'm mad that they shot me, but shout out to the sound design. I could hear that arrow whistling all the way as it came up. That sounded awesome. Okay, so we got one more like the archers somewhere over there. Where are you? No, you won't. Not if I do this. <laughs> you can't see all these bushes moving. <laughs> Nowheres. I'm going up here to get supplies. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Ah, oh, so much stuff. What a lucky boy am I. All right, give me that. Now I can blow your head off. Oh, ho. sweet. Now we should have enough supplies to run back to drop things in that drop box. And then that'll give us like a free weapon or upgrade of some kind. Don't run into eight. Trip wires, trip wires, trip wires. No. Okay, we're good. Got it. And and some more supplies for us. Sweet. Okay, cool. We're making it all the way to the boss on this one, which makes me even more nervous because now I really don't want to screw up on the final section of this. So, okay, I don't think I've ever beaten this boss with Joel before. So this will be this will be new for me as well as it is for you to probably watch this. So Oh, but anyway, I'm curious what you guys think of this. Feel free to like, yeah, comment. Let me know if this seems like enough of a reason for you guys to get like the $10 upgrade. Because I think it is, in my opinion, I think it's worth it. Um, especially if you enjoyed the basic. Oh, that's actually a really good one. Yeah, I gained a little semi-auto rifle. Like, that's just helpful to be able to quickly take shots at a bunch of different enemies. So, okay. Not bad. Not bad, actually. I probably have enough to buy some decent upgrades. Um, I have got a bit of shotgun ammo. Let's see, can I make anything else first? Okay. Let's make everything we can before we buy anything. Uh, after killing them with a strike, that's a really good one. To be able to get melee kills. I don't have anything to like stun them, like a stun grenade or anything, which is kind of a bummer. All right, let's see. Oh, more parts. I don't need that. How's my machete doing? It's doing pretty good. So, because what does it cost to upgrade? Yeah. Okay. Maybe I should get a fresh melee that way, because then, like, wait, hold on, hold on, let me see. Yeah, because I have enough stuff to be able to upgrade it. That way, then I won't have to worry about having my melee weapon break partway through, because that's a big thing, is in this next fight, there's so many enemies that if you can just keep hitting them with melees and pipe bombs and all that, you'll probably be okay. Um, hunting pistol is good for taking out the big enemies. Uh, give me... Yeah, go ahead, give me that. Nice, okay. Shotgun. Okay, okay, not too bad. I probably shouldn't get so excited. I should probably keep, the, I'm gonna set, I should set the uh, <laughs> the expectations very low though to say that odds aren't probably gonna die on this fight, but maybe I won't. And maybe I'll make y'all proud of me. Okay. Oh shit, I didn't realize, oh, because we died as Ellie, so they gave us a new boss. Oh no. <laughs> oh, this fight's way harder. Okay, hold on. We're doing the Rat King fight, but the Rat King in this, in this mode has way more health than he does in the regular fight. So, oh shit, okay. Hold on, I gotta think differently then. So, we wanna get him on fire. Doing fire damage is a big thing for as far as like getting a lot of damage on him really quickly. So, let me try to do that. Let me think, okay. I think we can do this. I'm gonna hit him with fire damage as soon as I possibly can. That way he'll keep burning and then we can just, I can throw all of my um, pipe bombs at him as soon as possible. Fuck me. All right. Wish me luck. I didn't realize this is what we were fighting, so. <sighs> come on, come through here. Where are you? Where are you? All right, once it gets to half health, then it's gonna summon its little mini me. I'm not looking forward to that. All 
Okay, that's okay. That's good, because we still got pipe bombs left. Yeah, another pro tip. Do not... Don't, whatever you do, don't worry about the little minion for now. You have to take out the big guy if you want to survive. Oh shit, what is happening? Why am I not moving? Run, 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 run. I don't know why. Whoa, 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 the controls are getting fucky. I wasn't trying to dodge, game. Okay, we, we're alive. Oh my god, he's getting stuck on everything. Oh, we're almost there. Oh shit, shiv it! Okay, get through here. We're doing okay. We might even have time to heal. Reload. Reload faster. Okay, we got the big guy. That's good. That's good. Because that means we probably have time to heal really fast and then get the little guy out. Heal up. Because thankfully the little guy is a little creepy stalker. So because of that, he's not as aggressive. Oh my god. I also can't see shit. I know that's how it's designed. Come here, you little shit. Where'd you fucking go? I hear you. Come here, come here, come here! Yeah, fuck yeah! Oh god, that was... That was so scary. <laughs> Okay, and what I get? Three minutes and nine seconds. That's actually a really good, so S tier. S tier on the boss, fuck yeah. Oh my God. All right, that was really good. I'm really glad that worked out. And hey, that was fun. That was, we got, Joel got to survive Last of Us 2 for the, the first time ever, so that was good. Holy shit. Oh, thank God, I was so worried I was gonna fuck that up because I didn't, I didn't want to let y'all down or myself. So that was, Oh, that's the thing too, with that fight, you gotta just stay, like, keep your head in the game as far as, like, if you start to get low on health, you can't just go up, you gotta keep sprinting around and see if you can make it, so. Okay, well, hey, there you go, there is a, that's like a decent tour of the new, no return mode for you to see, if you get to see one completely failed run through, and then a much more successful run through all the way to the end, so. Um, and it's kind of fun too, like you can see there's like challenges, other stuff you can do that unlocks different um, outfits. I appreciate it because there's nothing that is locked up um, like behind any sort of a paywall or anything like that. It's just like you, the more activities you do and the more of the characters you use, the more options you can unlock. So, uh, which feels fair. It gives the game a decent amount of longevity when you first start playing this mode to incentivize you to keep playing and unlocking different things tiers to the the different characters what kind of different mods can be added because there are some mods even that didn't show up in this run like there's one that's molotov rain so anywhere you are on the map molotovs every now and then drop around you which is awful there's one where um anytime you go to move anywhere every little while a, a bottle will break right next to you alerting the enemies that that's where you are so there's a lot of stuff that can really make a run harder or easier uh, depending, and sometimes it's in your benefit. Sometimes you'll get a run, and right toward the the right towards the end. Excuse me, I'm getting too excited. Um, you'll get a mod that like lowers the enemy health a little bit, and that gives you a little bit more wiggle room to survive. So, but anyway, let me know what you guys thought of that. I'm curious. I'm obviously I'm not gonna be doing a full. I would not be doing a playthrough of Last of Us Two remastered, mostly because I've looked at comparisons of the graphics, and I consider myself someone who has a fairly trained eye for visual qualities in things and i really had trouble telling the difference like i was comparing so many different screenshots side by side 
And you could see a little bit of an improvement in some of the things like some of the lighting, some of the um, minor upgrades and some of the textural sharpness here and there with some items, but not really anything important. Like the character model still looked the same. The animation looks the same as it should because the game is fantastic. The game looks, this was a PS4 game that when it came out looks as good, if not better than a lot of PS5 titles that we're getting now. Like that's just how good it looks. Much like you watch like videos of, you know, Red Dead 2 and you look back on it now and you, you look at it and you just go, man, this looks as much like a modern game as anything coming out now, you know, five or six years later. So um, anyway, yeah, I think this is a really fun mode. I really hope they, because if they're not going to do the multiplayer, I really hope they keep this alive and add to it. Not even all that often, but every few months, it would be super cool if they added some sort of new, a, a new tournament, a new, some new mods to mix things up. Just, I don't know, maybe a new environment. I do feel like there's a lot of environments that are not being used is one thing is I feel like there's a lot of areas in the game that are really good maps. Like I think of like the, um, the one where you're on the skyscraper dealing with the Seraphites where you're as Abby and it's like that multi-layered skyscraper where you can fall off into nothingness and die that way. That feels like a map that would be really good for this that just was not utilized alongside quite a few other locations. So I hope they take that opportunity because I feel like if they expand it out into those locations, it would make the randomization of it even more interesting if they added, I don't know, 50% more locations to the game, you know? They probably won't. I'm, I'm sure they're working on lots of other things. I'm sure this is not high priority, but I hope someone on the team gets to work on that because I think it could, it could turn this from a little add-on and make it a full-fledged reason to get the game on its own right. So they also, um, I might do a separate video on this. In the extras, they added, uh, oh no, in the making of, there's lost levels. There's three different levels that were cut from the original game. So I might make a separate video walking through those just to talk about them because I figured I've played the whole first game. I played the second game, all 30 plus hours of it. So I figure I've, my channel has had a lot of Last of Us content on it for quite a long time because it's a game series that I love so, so much. And I've talked about so, so much. So uh, maybe that might be interesting to be able to go through because a lot of you have been here for that and watched that playthrough. And you may enjoy talking about that. And I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on these cut levels, you know, what, what they're about. Because I don't know what they are. I haven't watched anything about them yet. So, but anyway, this is pretty interesting. Let me know what you guys think. Um, and I'll be back probably to do the Lost Levels thing uh, at the very least. And I also, this is kind of encouraging me to go back and play the Last of Us Part 1 remake, the the DLC with Ellie. So, because that's like the one thing I have not played for the channel. And I'm thinking, you know what, that doesn't take very long to play. And I've been meaning to get around to it. And this is kind of giving me that boost to give that a shot. So maybe I'll do that. Let me know if that's something you guys still want to see. Um, and if you do, then I'll make time for it. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching and listening. My name is Dominic, and I will see you next time. Bye.